Hold up. Did I miss something? Hunter? Not sure if you remember me, but we met briefly before. I'm... The witch who called me back from the grave. Told you. Or Nico, but either works. And this is... Robbie Ray is. <laughs> oh man, never thought I'd be standing next to you. Got quite a rep. I mean, caretakers told us. Stories. That's Eliana. Привет. And I think you already met Blade. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Whoa. How did you... Your power. I can feel it. I always do. So... Welcome home. I guess we... I never left. Right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. The Abbey is still, well, you know, the Abbey. Basic stuff. Dorms, war room, library, a few places to chill, and, uh, whatever the hell the forge is. I have to say, for a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Oh, and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch, just wait until you meet them. Speaking of, we're here. Yeah, okay, spend 10 minutes in this place alone, Bruce, then see. Oh, <coughs> gotta go. Just let's begin. There isn't time for a refresher, much less that sort of training regime. You'll have to trust that the hunters pass. Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look older. Was I in that crypt, Sarah? No more than a few centuries. You were... missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. Until now. <clears throat> yeah, so speaking of Lilith... Tony? What? The kid's literally speaking of Lilith. Tony? That's my name. Tony. That's, uh, Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to help. Help with what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? <sighs> Smiting the Dragon Mother? You tell us, kid. You are the chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is... hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. Straight to voicemail? Some Sorcerer Supreme. Must be mystical interference caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. Allow me. Alato. Whoa, what kind of network you run in there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal who judges. Bound to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. We just call it the mirror table. Wanda! The dark portal pushing against the wards. Stephen, where are you? That's impossible. Nothing on Earth could possibly affect those wards. Wanda's in trouble. Wanda is trouble. I'll go. You'll need my help, of course. 
Then let us make haste, Dr. Spooky. Our hunt begins now. You following me, Doc? Maybe you should go introduce yourself to the youngins. I'm sure they know of the Sorcerer Supreme, and I'm... With everything going on right now, we simply... Even given the fluctuations in the ass... Are you ready? The prophecy of the Midnight Sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the Darkhold. If she forced her way into my Sanctum Sanctorum once, I suspect she can do it again. You are a Sorcerer Supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the Sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? Ah, <sighs> fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time, a Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds, and with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. Your sanctum. Indeed, the Sanctum Sanctorum has weathered its fair share of trouble over the years. Blaze storms, a few. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. In any case, all will be revealed with time. I suggest we make use of it while it's still fun. About time. Not just about time, Mr. Brooks. Time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is... not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... Well, I'll just let her show you. So young, of course. You think this is crazy? Wait until you see Manhattan. From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet and beyond. We don't want to risk punching through the wards protecting your sanctum, Doctor.
at least we know the wards of protection are still in place. For now. I suggest we hurry. I hesitate to call this good news, but I'm seeing minimal Hydra resistance between you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the wards of protection. ready to give up just yet. That gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gamma or not, I feel the hand of my mother at work here. Put this to good use. This <laughs> You carry the responsibility of Sorcerer Supreme with great ease, Doctor. Thank <laughs> you. 
Position compromised. You are not ready for me. Wanda is calling out to me. I feel her struggle. And I won't be doing that again. for this fight. Misguided as they are, remember, Hydra is still human, Hunter. Not Lilin. You were saying? The lifeblood of the mother pumps through our veins. Mother is eternal. Hydra is eternal. One of bed. itself Venom. Sorcerer Supreme has room to grow.
Watch close. Resolve that easily. Support units on the map. We may not be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. Yes. Surrender. Be eaten. Fill our belly with your tasty food. Fill your belly with my plate. Just try to keep up. Mother blesses us with power. Mother blesses us with power. 
with strength. We protect the and are rewarded with your meat. And to think Lilith was a vegetarian. has fallen. No escape from me, demon. Hold up. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. <laughs> Friendly. Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <coughs> Spider Man! Jeez, Eddie, what happened to you? That's part of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but. Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. We will rip your face off and suck the pearl from your bones! Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? Don't worry, Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares! Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall... I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Ah, of course! I see it now. The look! Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... Than the Sanctum? Or Wanda. She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. We'll talk more later. Get some rest. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time. Even, uh, on the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid six... And where... Oh, that's the real question, isn't it? Sky's the limit for you, my friend. <laughs> I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. No one should be forced to walk the hallways around. So, here we are. 
The old room, huh? It's, uh, full transparent. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a... But I... Even better. <laughs> Relax, Tony. I simply... Of course it was. With just a touch of... Haha! -ha, another zinger. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face... May your sleep be... F right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown... Hi, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. There was never enough room for my armor in this thing. past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the Forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Charlie was restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The Forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. 
Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing. Mm -hmm. Yes, speaking of... Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two are such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. I think I could have used a cloak. Stylish, damn near indestructible, and we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? It is not... Anytime. I tried to... I was this close to making it menthol-flavored. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them, too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. Thanks for... Anytime. Remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you... If you have a minute, meet me at the end. Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding up on the inside? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? You lost m I appreciate that, Hunter. And you're right, of course. I, for one, do not know if... I still can't believe what transpired. The sanctum, all that knowledge. Wanda, lost. With all my resources, all my gifts, I... Lilith's power has... Your words are appreciated still. I'm... It's not just the Sanctum Santorum that was lost, but I am determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter. Let... Visit... Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at Yield Demon Hunting School, so I'm just gonna give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They're using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. 
Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? How does this look? If this thing behind me turns into a giant gateway to ancient Egypt, I'm quitting. Hunter, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? None. All right. Back again. Right then. Hunter. Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers, but... You can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie. Going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the Sanctum. Every True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the Funky Bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. If there is any time. Trust me, Hunter, I'm looking forward to it. Find me in the war room when you're fit. Welcome back. Fine, speak. Later. <laughs> 